Hi y'all, it's Nick again, and I'm back today with um, a little bit of info about um, things that I've learned over the year and a half that I've been doing this great hobby. Things I wish I would have known uh, back then, but like they always say, you live and learn, you move on. So I wanted to share some of these different um, like keywords and types uh, so all the new beginners will be aware of. Okay, the first picture I'm showing you is um, a pig that my uh, dad actually did uh, quite a few months ago. And it's considered what's called a partial. Now a partial, whoops, sorry. Partial is just exactly that. Um, the drills, diamonds... Uh, beads, whatever uh, you may call them, are in the main part of the picture. So, which on this one is the pig. And the background that's blue is just printed on there. So, there's nothing, no um, diamonds or drills put on the background. And these are round drills or circle drills whatever you may um call them okay with this they're good to start out with they do make good pictures um especially if you're not sure about the sizes to get with the better detail so there is a lot of beautiful ones out there that um can be used also this is another um, partial as well one of the very first ones and as you can see the background of the snow is all painted on and it's just the huskies that have the drills or diamonds in them they still sparkle a lot they are also round another one the flowers and the butterfly or I should say the ladybug and um, the butterflies are painted on. But all that area is not lost. You can actually add your own diamonds or if you have extra rhinestones, you can do that as well. This would be also another partial to where actually this sunflower is not done. But again, if you have extra drills or rhinestones even, you can glue them on. That's not a big deal. Same with this one as well to make it pop a little bit more. Still makes great pictures. Another one briefly to where it's just the deer. But you can also take uh, extra ones and do the cardinals if you would like. There's a lot of opportunity in this hobby. Now this one is, of course, just the sunflowers. It's also round two, but as you can see, I took extra yellow, orangish color rhinestones and I glued them to the ends of some of the sunflowers. Not all of them, so I didn't bling them all out, but as you can see, um, you can add your own extra little touch to it. Now this is what you call a full drill. This is when the whole picture gets filled in with the diamonds or the drills. Now this one is also round. Now as you can see how little this is, it's okay to go little because it's a 25 by 20 centimeter as long as there's not a whole lot of detail, like flowers, trees, uh, people, animals, since there's only Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, it comes out great. Now this one is also a full, but as you can see, since there's Tigger, Piglet, Eeyore, and Pooh, Piglet actually gets a little distorted. So this is a 25 by 20 also. I would go a little bit bigger, maybe 30 by 30, 40 by 40, to grab that extra detail. 
So the more that you got going on in that area, a little bit bigger you might want to go. This was also a live to learn picture. Not too bad. It looks better um, far away, hung up, which that's fine too as uh, beginners. Not a problem with that. Now this one I definitely uh, learned from. Um, doesn't say on the front, but I wrote on the back. It's a 30 by 30 centimeter, so it's a 12 by 12 inch. Now, it shows up really good in um, the camera that you could see the extra wolf. Now, when you're looking directly at it, you really can't make that out. So, you might want to go a little bit bigger because with the extra details of the feathers, different colors, the... Uh, sun cat or the dream catcher and all that that's going on in this picture also these are squares so when I first started I started with squares I didn't know anything about rounds I didn't even know that they existed okay this is what you call a partial rhinestone which is same as the regular partial. The background, or most of the background, is painted, painted on. And you have rhinestones um, doing the outline of the main picture, which would be the birds and the berries. And it does have a little bit of the outline of the buildings. Then there is full rhinestone which again is like the full regular drills or full picture. It's the whole frame of the picture, but it's all the shiny rhinestones. And there's actually different size rhinestones within this picture, so they're not just the smaller ones. Now, this one was also a lesson learned, as you could see. It does come up a little bit better in the camera, but this was a Halloween one that I got from my granddaughter. I believe I measured it. I didn't write it on the back. I believe it's a 25 by 20. Um, I could be wrong. But um, speaking of the sizes, you have to remember if... You're buying one that says 20 by 20, 25 by 20, 30 by 30. They're taking it from end to end. Okay? Not from the end of bead to the end of bead. So, you have to remember if you're doing 30 by 30, there may be an extra inch or two or inch and a half on each side that takes up with the white border. So you'll have to take that into consideration. So as I was saying, you can see that some of the detail is lost in this. You miss, you can't really make out that Piglet is in the ghost uh, costume. So this one, I obviously have to go back, find it in a bigger one. I would probably do this one in maybe a 40 by 40 or a little bit bigger. Now, this one is also a full um, picture, but it's actually quite different. It's got the rhinestones on the outside of the border that looks like its own picture frame. And then on the inside is the regular round drills for the picture of the unicorn. So, there is many, many different um, varieties. So... What I would recommend definitely when you are shopping and you are a newbie, please don't fall for the you buy two, you get three, or the third one free with $8.99 shipping. Yes, sometimes that's a good deal as long as you know what you're looking for and you make sure that there's not a lot of detail in these. And if it only comes with that you can only choose by um, certain pictures, certain sizes, please be careful. If, again, if there's 
a lot going on in the picture with trees, flowers, uh, animals, cartoons, um, anything going on in the background and it's the full drill, just buyer beware because it may end up like this. There is a lot out there that do come in the good sizes like this one that is okay in the smaller size and you'll be fine with. My recommendation, no matter what company you go for, make sure you look down in the description. Make sure it says full or partial, round or square, or rhinestones, crystals, however they may have it worded. But please, if you cannot uh, change the size of it, you may want to rethink it. Every picture is individual. But as you go in time, you learn with this hobby what you have to go bigger with and how big you have to go. So these are okay to start out with, and you may continue to make them, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I go for the bigger ones. The bigger are the better ones for me. That's just my choice. That's what I like. So um, hopefully this gives you some insight that... Um, it's a great hobby to start. Um, you have to start somewhere, obviously. But if you have a couple of these ideas, you can um, figure out a little bit more. Because it is kind of um, a hard hobby to figure out. Because it can get costly with the bigger customs or the bigger pictures as you go. Because um, these are always a lot cheaper with the smaller ones. But there's a lot out there that are great, and there's nothing wrong with it. So, just buyer beware. Sometimes, if it's too good to be true, it is too good to be true. So, um, I hope this helped out a lot of people. Let me know what you think, if it did help you, or if there was something that I was missing that you would like to add in the comment section. That's fantastic. So, please share, like, subscribe. And until the next time, uh, happy DP and talk to you later. Bye.